in this video, I would like to share with you how to make good use of open loop lines. All right, we need to understand that not all the time we would want to have all the lines closed. Okay, in in terms of closed loops here, there are times of which we needed those lines in open loops so that we can uh, do do more things with it. Okay, like for example here, I'm going to now show you how to how to convert or how to process these these closed loop lines into becoming an open loop so that we can do something else with it. All right. So I'm just going to select this one on the left. All right, and I'm going to just uh, I'm going to just going to freeze this one for now. Okay, and go back to vertex sub selection mode again. And next, I am going to uh, open up the loop. All right, so I'm going to select these yellow points here. Okay, and I'm going to use the break command here to break them up. So all these all these line groups here are going to be all open loops. All right. So I'm going to get back out to the top level and I'm going to reactivate the extrude command again so that they all become hollow. Okay, right now as you can see. So open loops can be useful after we extrude them because we can add in another command modifier starting with S uh, shell okay we can look for the shell command here and then we can use this outer amount or inner amount in this case uh, I will just choose outer and put let's say 100 to give it thickness yeah, I'm just going to straighten the corners here so things look parallel. The, the offsetting is parallel. So we can think of this as having an offset distance here. This technique can quickly give us certain offset thickness. All right. I can set an example. Like for example, if we need to, uh, if we need to model curved walls or walls quickly, without having to draw double lines to form the wall. So the shell modifier is a, is a useful option here. 